Yes, uh, good evening everyone. Uh, good afternoon, those are in the United States. And uh, those back home in Nigeria, uh, good evening everyone. Uh, this is uh, uh, Major Clemens Iranomigo uh, Edegbe. Uh, like I promised, today was a mission uh, to make South African government pay for the atrocity they have committed against African brothers, most especially Nigerians. Uh, South Africa turned a blind eye on xenophobia, their government. So I'm just coming from uh, Senator John Connor's office of the United States. Uh, if Nigerian government cannot do anything about it, we are not going to just sit and watch our people slaughter, beaten, humiliated by so-called South African citizens who we are not even having the own, their own power to survive if not Nigeria, including me. Back in the 80s, I contributed what I can. I was going from one traffic stoplight in Benin City to another, collecting money from, from, uh, from women who are suffering in order to help South Africa get out of the oppression of the South African white people. Disappointing that since South Africa today, after all we have done for them, all they could do is to be killing my brothers and sisters. I have no power in Nigeria. The Nigerian government, they have continued to spread the news. They are not against, against anybody who want to make a difference or who is going to tell them how to run their government because they are incapable of running their own government. Right now, brothers and sisters, I am begging you people, uh, I don't want you to take arms. I want you to be a military, soldiers of Nigeria, war against corruption. You can do it with your cell phone. Mobilize people. Those that we have in the, in the, in the local government chairmanship who are embezzling money, who are not doing anything, I am going to lead a movement to make sure we go after them one by one from state to state all over Nigeria. Whenever you are elected and you did not do anything, let us see the police officer, military officer, all law enforcement, enforcement agency. No matter how Ghana must go money, they're going to give them. We will mobilize the youth and go to that city. We will invade that state and invade the city. Make sure that every vote count one by one. There is no more Godfather. There is no more my son must rule. There will be no more my brother must rule. Those that we know who have worked so hard for the masses, we are the people. We have the power more than the government. I know nobody fight against government that succeed. I, e.g., M.K. Abiola, he was a good man. You all know how he turned out. Even his own Yoruba people betrayed him. Those that betrayed Abiola, that helped kill Abiola, at the end of the day, they were subject to the consequences of their action. You all know who I'm talking about. Now he's running all about Nigeria. They gave them power. Vice President, whatever this. They, they betrayed their own brother, M.K. Abiola. I voted for M.K. Abiola. I suffered for M.K. Abiola. Today, Abiola is no more. If not a passage that they went ahead and bring to revive all the atrocity they have committed. My brothers and sisters, enough is enough for all these people. If we don't speak out, these people will continue to silence our generation. My children's generation. My children's children's generation. Poverty. We remain in Africa. How can a country, a continent that God has blessed with mineral resources, the Europeans, people are calling me from London. They say, oh, you are too critical about British government. It is the fact. That is the truth. I have nothing to do in England. When I become whoever I am, I will personally go to the British Parliament and request for compensation. They have to compensate Africa for what they have put us through. We need compensation. In America, the Indians were compensated by the American government for what they put them through. So it is time for African people to rise up and ask the British people, the European people, to compensate us. That is my message. I am not calling on, this, uh, on, on an attack on anybody. I am calling all the soldiers, those that want to fight against corruption, to eliminate corruption in Africa. One by one, as we spread from the south, we will end up in the north. We spread from the east, we will end up in the west. 
That is how it's going to be, my brothers and sisters. Now, I'm here to report to you. Like I said, my father's name is Talk and Do. Whenever he says something, he do it. I have learned from my father not to promise what you cannot do. If you know what you promise, you are unable to do it, let people know about it. So this is what we're going to do first. Uh, I have just came back. I spoke with a gentleman. I went to Senator Connor's office, presented my case to, to them. Uh, at first, they told me, oh, I am sorry, Mr. Officer Idegbe. Uh, we know this is an uh, African issue. We are not allowed to interfere into another government issue. Then I said, okay, I understand that. I said, let me finish. Listen, I'm going to show you a video. You are going to listen to this video. Then I will tell you how what you can do. I said, I meet all the system. I know the game. When they don't want to intervene, they want to turn a blind eye. They will tell you it's a sovereign country. It's a sovereign nation. Oh, whatever they call it. Oh, it is a nation of its own. We cannot interfere. But when it's to transport ammunition, AK-47, for us to kill each other, they will, they will evolve in it. So after much talk and negotiation, uh, this gentleman that I'm not going to mention his name, he later told me that uh, they are very happy. They saw the video. They asked me to turn it off. As the U.S. official saw the video, I was ordered to turn it off because it was so... It, it, they could not even watch it to half. So, at the end of the day, there was a breakthrough. I have been ordered to go to Washington, D.C., uh, make sure that enough senators, congressmen, they are aware of it. I am calling on every soldier of, of Nigeria and Africa who stand against corruption, who is ready to fight all this, all this, whatever I call it, failed government, failed government of ours, who have, who have been, who have been decimating Africa in, as a whole. If Nigerian legislator cannot impose sanction on South Africa for the atrocity they have committed against our brothers and sisters in Nigeria, we the soldier of the masses, we take matter into our own hands. We will go from state to state. I will encourage people that are in United Kingdom. March to your legislator in UK. Who are in Sweden? Who are in Switzerland? Anywhere you have in the world. Make sure we call action against South Africa government. South Africa government are the most racist government in the whole world. White people are not against us. This is the black South Africa who are against us. Enough is enough. I am ready to go to extremely late. If it happens, I have a cousin in Italy. Send me a message. He said, brother, you know your profession. This job, do what you are doing online is going to affect your job. How are you going to survive? I said, forget about it. God will take control. Let it affect my job. If, I cannot, if you want to silence me, you cannot silence me. The only thing you will do, I have prepared myself before all this. I have called my own son. Let him know if anything happens. I don't think my own child, he cannot cry to his general in the United States Air Force. I question Nigeria government what happened. I am not canon. I cannot be silent. I am not canon. I am from Benin. And I'm proud of where I came from. My Benin people, the Benin monarch, will never allow me to be silent. The ancestors of Benin and Nigeria as a whole will never allow them to silence me in Jesus' mighty name. The power of God is bigger than the power of government. So I have been ordered that what they can do, they will help, uh, uh, now that I've showed them it's not uh, affected Nigeria only, when they try to dodge whatever they were doing, I quickly, I quickly think to my senses, that is what I call common sense. I let them know these are not only Nigeria only. There are Sudanese, there are Zimbabwe, there are ev every country is going to turn to a massacre of Maybe a genocide very soon. You don't want to repeat the mistake President, uh, President uh, B. Clinton make. You don't want to repeat it. You don't want to repeat the mistake President Barack Obama made against Syria when he did not intervene. So I asked him his name. Tell me your name. I'm going to go to the media. I'm going to let them know that I've come to your office. This is not my first time to your office. He said yes. You recognize me? He said yes. Okay, good. This is not my second time. This will not be the last time. So he personally told me to do what he asked me to do. 
in order for United States legislators to impose to, to all the Congress to come together and impose action against South Africa government for the atrocity, the horrific things that they turn a blind hand on against foreigners who are in their country. Now, the atrocity is not against Nigeria alone. So what I'm saying, my brother and sister, I have gone to this length. Uh, from Monday, I will start again. I have to go to work tomorrow, work very hard, make sure we have enough money, buy a ticket, go to any way I want to go, and make sure that I follow through. I'm asking everybody, my power alone cannot do it. Those Nigerians that live in Washington, D.C., I know a lot of you, some of you are even professors. Please, use your education, use your power. Go to Washington, D.C. Go to door by door. You can never be arrested. Go there, let them know, collect your evidence as you are going. In law enforcement uh, department, evidence matter in anything you are doing in life. Once you have evidence, nobody can turn you away. Go the way I did it. Carry your video. Have three or four. Show them what is happening. Make sure you let them know they're going to be put on notice. If they turn you back, let them know. Give me your name. I am going to let the whole world know about it. Trust me. American people are kind. There are good people here. I know no country is free. But United States, there are good people. They are very kind. And they will listen to you. They don't want to see anything going wrong. But sometimes they make mistakes. The only way we can correct it is by coming together. Unite everyone. Hence, Nigeria government has failed us. In Abuja, up to now, no one has able to even call on a, on a session to impose session on South Africa government. Nigeria have done nothing. All they do, they are going around propaganda, carrying a, 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 a what they call it, China's, China's TV. If you are here watching me, do not watch China's TV. It's in the pocket of the government now. Do not watch China TV. If you have your local channel, go ahead and watch it. Once you see that they are carrying fake rumors, fake stories, they want to silence everybody. No Nigerian life have lost. How do you know, senators in Nigeria? Nigeria government, how do you know? Inspector General of Police, how do you know? You are sleeping in your convoy with body hammer. You have security guard. How do you know? I think the law enforcement officer, they should join us and fight with the, with the people. They call it democracy. There is no democracy in Nigeria. All Nigerian government are doing when they, they destroy everywhere with corruption. Even though people advise you, brothers and sisters, there are some advice you don't take. If British government orient, orient, oriented Nigerian people Teach them how to be corrupt. Nigeria, they see the suffering my mother and my father and everybody is going through in Nigeria. And they refuse to do it. Nigeria will be better. Let me tell you. If you all think I'm crazy, I am stupid. I am not. One day, Ghanaians will start their xenophobia against Nigeria. One day, if we did not rise up against this atrocity, you will see it from south to north. From west to east, they will continue to slaughter Nigeria, knowing that our government are, is not functioning. So, brothers and sisters, look at what the Italians, the Europeans are doing to our people. It started gradually. As little as Quebec Island, where my own governor, my former governor of my state, married Oshomule, Governor Oshomule, as the former first lady of Edo State, if any Kevedian have ever been lost in any country in the old world, as little as that island, the government, there's no corruption. They, they are not corrupt at all. The police, they are not corrupt. Then, let's fast forward it. Have you ever seen a Senegalese? Senegalese murdered in any country? No. Evil Ghanaians, these Ghana that they are putting our people in jail, masses jail. I am coming for them next week. Ghanaian government, 
They are there crying that we say Ghana must go. We only say Ghana must go. But we did not commit a genocide, commit a massacre against Ghanaian people. Ghanaians should be very, very, very friendly to our brothers and sisters who are living there. Because I know how many geisha that cut my leg when they were throwing geisha everywhere. So when Idiagmo and this Buhari came into power, they, they, they quickly reinstated one against the discipline. Nigeria was clean. That is why I supported President Buhari. I thought the military did not give him time to face Nigeria when he was going down. But this gentleman, people might hate him. I don't care. This man, what he have for us, he found that it's not the way he rule in military. That is how you can legislate. So it become a problem. He was caught in between military and civilian. So Nigerians should learn from that tomorrow. Any military officer coming to become a president, we should think twice. Because you cannot match your way and command everybody to follow you as you are as in the, when you are in the military. So that is the problem Nigerians are having today. Buhari cannot command. If you don't do this, you are in problem. No. So he find it very difficult. So we should all understand where the problem is coming from. So in that process, they let him know if you are fighting the corruption, we will make this economy. We will help you destroy it. You want to fight corruption. That is how they are dealing with that innocent man, Buhari. I call him innocent. Because it was against corruption. Do you think these people who keep bundles of bundles of money, they will go to jail after stealing billions of dollars. They will go for one month. British government will release them. The same useless British government. You all know who I'm talking to. They will release them. They will go and be celebrating. Bad people, five, five thousand, to be checked, to be happy. Hey, welcome home. Can you imagine that? My own, my own family, Professor and so oh God, notorious arm robber Anini was from my village, Lawrence Anini. He did not steal the amount of money that they they killed him for. And he never robbed any one individual. He was going to bank to bank. Nigeria government, they shot him to death and destroyed him. Kill everybody. Terrorized my community. I was a little boy. They terrorized my community with mobile. But where are all those law enforcement? Why can't they terrorize all these useless politicians? Chronic politicians. These criminal politicians that are stealing money from left and right. They are come here, they buy cars, when I was a dealer, they want to buy uh, the best SUV. Can you imagine that nonsense? Huh? I know what I, this pen that I have right here, if you can look at it, it will say it's here. I don't know if you can see it. It will say United States Air Force. This is a pen my son gave me. Whatever I take it to, I will write what I, before you, when they look at it, they say, oh, they said, okay, sir. Uh, are you a, a military family? I say, yes, I'm a law enforcement officer as well. They pay attention to me. Who could have thought a pen can help me? That is the question. Who could have thought? So, my brothers, look at the water that they gave me in the senator's office. This is how they gave me this water. They were very kind. They said, sir, do you want to drink Coke or whatever? I said, no, give me water. I did not open it. I'm from Benio, Edo. You see, I did not open it. I did not drink it. I'm not saying they are trying to poison me. I don't know if there's cooling. There's anything in it. I took it home. This is my own water. So this water, I will not open it until South Africa government have brought to justice. Any lie detective that they want me to take. Where this water came from, it comes from Senator John Connor's office. This is my evidence that I visited his office, complained about this xenophobia, that his staff and everybody was aware of it. This is my witness. I have pictures that I took outside. So, brother and sister, I'm going to beg you people, don't give up on our brother and sister all over the world. Those that are in South Africa, I want you all to know, Help are on the way. By one way or the other. If you can hide your head. Please forget about money. Get your bag and baggage. Run out of that useless country called South Africa. What is in South Africa? All these musicians. 
artist, whatever they call it, favor, two face, uh, what they call it, the bank, whatever. They are rushing to South Africa like South Africa is the ultimate. What is going on? South Africa have the highest HIV. These people say people who call themselves Nigeria celebrity will go to South Africa and bring those useless aid to AIDS to Nigeria and, and inject AIDS from one place to another. Because poverty, Nigeria government have decimated our family. They have no money. They can't pay their tuition in school, in college. They cannot pay uh, their school fees in high school. All they are subject to either farming or roaming around the street. If anyone gives me $5,000 or 5000 naira, they say, okay, I love you. That is not true. We all know that. We all know that. Our federal government have failed us. Nigeria government have failed us. Please, someone send me a message. Talk about uh, uh, Governor Obaseki. What he's doing. He's trying to match the distance between a college educated or not college educated. What, what the hell is that? What does that got to do with all the road from Benin City to Abraka? The road lead to Ugo. The road lead to Ewesi. The road lead to Obozogbe. What concern a college and a merge? Who asked him to merge anything? Merge the road before you merge anything. Go, my governor. We are not asking for merge college. College is not in the village. Are you going to help uh, our ex-governor to, 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 to put population in his school? Who have 500,000? To pay in tuition. What is that? So, brothers and sisters, before you support anybody, don't go because you are hungry. I have not eaten since morning. I swear Jesus is looking at me. I have not eaten. My stomach is full because I know what I'm doing. He's good. If I die tomorrow, my son will carry on my legacy. I'm happy I have children. I am not here. To come here and criticize it and criticize that. Don't send me those rubbish messages. I am not promoting any political party. At all. PDPO, APCO, they have all failed us. If they can bring out young star, bring people, young people who know. Can you imagine? Your old president or your old senator, we don't even know how to send, a, to send or upload. How can that interact with Western world? You send them a message, my brother, I left my phone in the senator Aduma house yesterday. Can you imagine that? A do state police commissioner, you heard me now, a do state police commissioner, I, I was up the atrocity in South Africa to him for more than three days and he has not opened up his WhatsApp. To even see it, and you are telling me you are the commander in chief who is, who is fight against crime in Benin? How will you now know if the formation for kidnapping that is going to take place in 24 hours and I was happy to you, you did not even open it? How can you not fight and, 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 and eliminate criminals? Tell me, is that a strategy or what? They what they call it, cyber fighting, insecurity. They go to social media. They have FBI who are in social media. They check everything every day. Why can't the state or the IG put law enforcement, go through social media, any information you get, verify it, investigate it, and follow up as soon as possible. If you cannot open your WhatsApp for four days, how can you not get a tip? What America call a tip, individual tip, to go after the, the bad guys. Every country has bad people. I don't think Nigeria people will be bad when they have job, when they have food to eat. When you are full, you have a little bit of car, you can drive. I don't think you will want to die. That is the fact. So, my brothers and sisters, Governor Obaseki, if you see this video, I know you came to the United States. You enjoyed in you enjoyed in America. You have seen what Western world look like. I did not support you, but now you have win. I will work with you if you are ready to work for Edo people. But if you are not ready to work at those people, tell your boys to stop sending me message. Because I know some of those boys who are very good. I don't want to mention them. They might be good to me. They might be bad to others. Who are working for you. 
Most of them don't even answer my phone anymore. You, if you even try to reach the governor of Edo State, I swear to God, my brother, you can never be able to reach him. How can he not know? He's in the bubble, GROA bubble. Just like a, a presidential bubble in Asorok. Once you are in the bubble, how can you know what Nigerians are going through? When you are coming, the road is clear. The traffic is, is clear. When you are coming, there will be no armed robber. When you go home, there will be 24 hours electricity. How will you not know? Hmm? Governor Wiki of a, of a river state, he doesn't have bodyguard. Sometimes he will go on the street because he's working for his people. Who will kill a good man? Who will kill a good man? You people, instead of investing that millions on our generation, on our children, you people are investing in an armor car. You will invest in an armor door. Even your house, you want to make it armor. You have body armor. Can you imagine? After, look at my suit. I'm not a suit man. Oh. I'm a very radical man. I am not a suit man at all. As even sweating, as I'm with this suit right now, not to talk of body armor. When I'm transporting criminal, they give me body armor. It's heavy in my body. Tell me the kind of life these people are leading. They are living, all these leaders. Huh? Is that a good life? Huh? So, my brothers and sisters, these soldiers of the people, go ahead, download this video, send it one place or another until you reach uh, President Buhari's hand. I don't care. This video until they reach the state commissioner of police, individual state, Ogun state, own those state, or your state, wherever it is. Imo state. Let them see these people enjoy Western world. Why are they running to London? Why are they running to America? If these people have common sense. South Africa, that we are crying that they are killing our people, they did their country. That is why people are rushing there. Shame on Nigerian government. Shame on the government. If you are a part of us, you are one of us, you are one of our, the masses, my brother, we will respect you till you die. But if you want to join the Ghana must go government, hey, the people are coming after you. The next election, you will see you will not even go close to them. You will not win. You will have a young man who will come from even, even Sokoto, or you will come from a, even in a, what they call it here. Benin Republic, who is residing in Benin Republic, will come and contest against you, and we, the soldier of the masses, will support him with our cell phone, with our media, with our everything. We we'll make sure that we take you out of that position. So that is. The, I know you all will go. Hey, this man is a threat to us. It's a threat. What can we do? Zero. Nothing you can do. Zero. Because the power in me, it comes from God Almighty. Nothing. I have seen it all. I have lived in it with criminals who committed 10 murder. Face to face, they will ask me if they kill me, what am I going to do? I tell them, you kill me, there's nothing you can do. But if you try me, I'll crush you like a damn goddamn alligator. And that is exactly what I do. Sometimes I gas those motherfucking ass up because I always fight for my right. So politicians in Nigeria, you see that your useless, useless phone, that phone that your girlfriend will call, you will answer immediately. Your mother will call, you will not answer. Your father will call, you will say, tell, tell him that I'm in uh, Abuja. Whereas you are just in Lagos, you are in uh, 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 VR. Your own brother, they will tell you your brother is dying. You will say, oh, tell them to take him to the hospital. When my own junior brother was sick in Nigeria, there was no hospital they did not take him to. Every church, they took him to everywhere. No way. My mother was crying every day. Ask anybody that knows me. I flew from the United States. I told my job. I said, I am going home. They said, ah, we cannot give you time. I flew to Nigeria. I single-handedly carried my brother. I did not go to anywhere. You all listen. I took him to my grandfather's grave. I prayed to God. I said, God Almighty, if this sickness is caused by evils, I have nobody to fight for me, but you are my grandfather. Three days later, my brother was walking on the street. Ask anyone in Benin, my old Juno brother now today is as healthy as anybody. Call 
become a mother, she will tell you. When I talk to my own brothers and sisters, you don't listen. I make you pay for your action. My son always advised me, Daddy, before you make any decision, think of the consequences of the action you are about to take. Because every action have reaction. Nigeria government have give they have given us their action. Now their reaction is coming to them peacefully. So I'm calling on the law enforcement agency in Nigeria. Please, I want you all to support us. I want you all to rise with us. When we rise together, just like as we fought together, we're going to rise together. Nigerian police officer, military officer, navy, all the marines, whatever they are. Please go to your superior, who you are protecting. Tell him to start listening to the masses. Tell him they should pass a legislator against South Africa government. They should sanction South Africa. Completely close their embassy. No twenty. All Nigerians are accounted for in South Africa. Another way, Libya have no government. There's nothing we can do about that. We all know what happened in Libya. Nothing. So, my brothers, do not go to Libya. Like I always say, do not go to Niger Republic. Do not go to South Africa. Do not go to any other country in Africa. If you want to travel, please, please, please be patient. Call every brother or sister you have in overseas. Let them give you a good idea. There's a way you can go to embassy. Like a senator, if you want to get America a visa, call your brothers and sisters. Tell them to go to their constituency. They have what they call a re Congress. Representative. They can go to Congress. I'm giving you what I know. They can get a letter. That letter will help. You help one. Another one will help another one. Until they all leave. When the power comes to, to us, we the people, I'm just a messenger. So let's remove all this do nothing Congress. Do nothing Senator. All talk, no action government of Nigeria. Enough is enough. That is my message today. Please, brothers and sisters, those that I saw some guys from uh, Atlanta, Georgia, just walk straight to CNN headquarters. Go there, tell the CNN, this is what is happening. Show them the video. Those that are in New York, go to M MSNBC headquarters. Go to Fast News headquarters. Call Bill O'Reilly, Sean Hannity. They are the megaphone of Republicans here in America. Call them. I know they, they said they want to fight for justice. They want their law, government law, what they call it, law and order. So they should first of all transfer that law and order to South Africa for us. Please. I know the government of the United States right now is in chaos with so many, many, many things. But I pray for everything to be okay. So what I'm saying, my brother... Sisters, please pick up your phone. Pick up your cell phone. Call. I will continue to make call. I will continue to do my best. Anything I know I can do, I will continue it. And I will continue to update everybody every day, at least one or two times. As I'm leaving this video today, I'm going to start making call. I know it's late in Nigeria now, but I have some friends that I call at night. I can call them. These are high-ranking military officers. Call them and ask them, how far have you gone? We have to negotiate. We cannot fight our way to the government. No one fight government and survive it. Please. We are the government. Those people are just critical. Where your critical is not behaving right, eating your money. What do we do to them? Collect the key. Send them out of the place. That is what we need to do. To PDP and APC. The People's Party will come. He will be people's party. We will not allow all this intruder who do not who do not want to repent to join us. Our boys, young boys, it is time. How can 70 years old man, 80 years old man in Nigeria, 80 something years old man in Africa, will still be ruling? They cannot even get up and walk and go pee. How do you think they will get up and go to village and know what is happening in in a, in a city, in a community? That is my question, my brothers. So, thank you very much. I am going to continue to do it. But those that hate me, continue to hate. Those that love me, thank you. 
overwhelming support I've gotten from people all over the world. I want to tell you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. This movement, hashtag enough is enough, is going to go forever. There is no time it will die. Because when you push a dog to the wall, it has no choice to turn around and bark and fight back. So we are going to fight back with our social media. It's those who are only after governorial money, senator money. When senator want to campaign or governor, you people will be posting heaven ahead, lying from one place to another. You people will buy you even your card and be putting it on Facebook. What is wrong with your heart now? You cannot put xenophobia in your Facebook. What is wrong with you people? Money, 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 money. Money. What is wrong with you? You cannot even say my brothers are dying in South Africa. I have gone to through all through all the old pages. You all know how to speak grammar. Speak the grammar and save our people. Instead of speaking grammar for governor, senators who you are trying to help to get in the office so that you can be carrying Ghana must go. That Ghana must go era is ending very soon. It's close. Very close. And for the benignity, those people are going to put the governor on notice. Anything that he's doing, we are going to put him on notice because I know he's a smart man. It is smart. He will be smarter to join us. Whoever it is, I don't care. State to state, Lagos state, Ondo state, Imo state, Anambra, wherever Enugu, we don't care. We're going to put you on notice. Abuja himself, the so-called Abuja. Hey, 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 Abuja. That name called Abuja. Have you ever seen that name before? Abuja. What is the meaning of Abuja? To start from. Hmm? So you all have to be careful. That's why I don't like that city. I visited that city many times. I stopped going there. The people in Abuja. Look, let me tell you. I called somebody yesterday in Abuja. He told me. I said, I'm going to make sure somebody fly into Abuja. He said, oh, sorry, the person cannot fly in the next six weeks. Can you imagine that? I said, what, what happened? He said, oh, the airport is closed for six weeks. Federal Capital Territory. Those that is preparing to go to Abuja cannot fly to Abuja. How, how serious is that? A whole Federal Capital. It has no two airports. Look at the United States of America that I'm here today. Even a village has an airport. A village. Addison, right here has an airport. Dallas has two airports. Houston has airport. Austin has airport. San Antonio, they are all international airports. Chicago, O'Hare, Chicago. What? What is wrong with Nigeria? These people, I don't know. Their head is completely, uh, is malfunctioning already. They don't think right because money can put you in a place you don't want to be. So likewise, education. When you think you are smarter and you come to this Western world, your father has pampered you, put you in a dormitory, you don't know what to suffer. So you think life is always good and you will do whatever it takes to be in power. That is why you see all this killing. When they know that they are about to leave or they are all, they are, their secret is about to reveal, what would they do? They will start sending hit squad, killing innocent people on the street. Hmm? At the end of the day, you go and kill somebody for 50,000 naira. You leave your family forgetting that your family have raised so far to raise you. This same man will be enjoying. You think he's going to even leave you. If you know that you are going to confess, he will send another hit police officer. Or whatever it is, law enforcement. They have a hit squad everywhere. Even Britain, they have it. So, my brothers and sisters, let us unite one by one and put the right person in the office. So that he will lead us to the British people, number one. I always talk about the British government. They are the drama king, drama queen of Africa. It's time for them to pay us for all our mineral resources they have collected from us. If they cannot give us peace, they cannot put security in Libya, they cannot put in Egypt, they cannot put in uh, anywhere Sudan and help Nigerians in South Africa. We should take matter into our own hand. Drop the AK-47. <laughs> Drop it. That is the fact, my brothers and sisters. So, I want to say uh, one more thing, but I don't want the video to be too long. 
So I want to thank everybody who have sent me over one message that I read them sometimes. When I read it, I don't even feel like eating anymore. I know what I went through. I should have been on live streaming like about two hours ago. If I tell you what happened, you will not believe it. I said, Satan is a liar. So what I, I, you will not believe what happened. So I was coming here, make sure that I can get home. I can do whatever I want to do. Thank God, Jesus has prevailed again. And we continue to prevail. Pastors who are in Nigeria, please, brothers and sisters, when you go to church on Sunday, if I'm watching my video, I want you to go to your church. In America, pastors, preachers, they use their religion to advocate whatever they want, one way or the other. There is no thing that is happening in the world that is not in the Bible. Find a version in the Bible that will make it better for you. Please, tell your people to declare war against corruption, war against xenophobia. Do not leave it alone, for we, the little, I am an average man. You know what I'm saying? Average man in everything. So you can't expect one person to carry all the load, then you want him to just perish. Nigeria government is like a handicapped person. Once somebody is handicapped, he is crippled, he cannot get up. No matter how you try to draw him or her, he will never get up. The best thing you will do, you will carry that person wherever you want to go. If it is better to sleep, go and put him in the sleep. For Nigeria government, we will not put them in the sleep. We will carry them and dump them. We're going to dump them and cover them with a big sound. That is it. That is what we should do. That is it. Nothing else. So if you want to tell me how good your governor is, Please, those that keep calling me, I have thousands, thousands of calls. They are coming. I cannot continue to be answering every call. Message me. I learn one thing. I will always read your message. Because I do not know a message that will favor my brothers and sisters. I guarantee you, I will always read your message. I might not be able to call everyone back. Your message will be read and I will reply you. Those that are my friends, you know I am good at that. Our leaders in Nigeria, no matter how you call them, they think everybody will come and ask them for money. What kind of useless money? Stealing money. You people are armed robber. You people are thieves, criminals. That is what you are. Eh? You are owning our money. You took our money. We are calling you. You are telling us you are coming to ask you for money. Do you have money? You are an idiot. You have nothing. You are just a thief. Eh? You will even buy a thing. I have a lot of Nigerians here in America. They will ship a car home. All these uh, politicians, people destroy people. They will tell you they have 10 million, they will buy this vehicle. You know what they do? They will send their security personnel. They will say, if this man come back, don't open this gate for him. They collect your car, they give you half money. They will never complete the money for you. Never. When you want to ask them, they will kill you. They will send 1,000 boys to eliminate you. They will collect 10 vehicles. It's, it's their strategy. It's a rich man's strategy in Nigeria. You go to their company, you see Rolls Royce, any kind of vehicle. Then you think if they purchase that vehicle, it's a lie. They are criminals, they are thieves. The owners of those vehicles, most of them are dead. They cannot come back and speak. They know what I'm saying. They know it's true because I was inside the circle of millionaires in Nigeria. Yes, they know what I'm saying is true. As I'm talking now, they are scared because they are thinking I will call their name. Those that I know. You will even send evil common. They will tell you to buy evil common cell phone. They will not even pay you for it. They will want to organize. To destroy you. So that is it, brothers and sisters. So I want to advise our brothers and sisters who are... I'm not here to, to kick against anything. If you are a doctor, fight for us. If you are an engineer, fight for us. If you are a farmer, fight for us. If you are a witch, fight for us. If you are a pastor, fight for us. If you are a courtist, fight for us. Courtism is not to kill people. Courtism is to protect and help your brother. They have a messenger, MS-13, bandidos here in America. You don't see them going around killing people. Please, brothers and sisters, all those things you are doing in Italy, you all need to stop it. 
stop it and use it to protect your people. There's no family that does not have court, 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 they don't have one person. No family. They have completely decimated Nigeria. It's not their fault. It's the fault of the government. Because everything Nigerian citizens have become is forced upon us. It's not a choice we make on our own. So that's what I want to advise anybody. Please, thank you and peace to everyone. God bless you all. It's about uh, 2.15 uh, a.m. over here. I mean, p.m. over here. Uh, I'm not perfect. I made a lot of mistakes. Please, whatever mistake I made, inbox me. I'm subject to correction. Please, inbox me. I will correct it immediately. So, I love you all. Thanks for those who have supported me uh, uh, publicly or by inbox. That's fine. But whatever you want to do, Please put it on a Facebook. Let the news spread. That is how Donald Trump become a president in the United States. That is how he become. Who could have thought Donald Trump would be a president? It was social media. He decimated the empire. So I don't want to say name. So through me social media, a lot of things are happening. Nigeria have not wake up yet. But soon the Nigerian government will soon wake up. We will use our weapon. This is my weapon right here. My cell phone is my weapon. This is it. So that is what we are going to use. Let them carry the AK-47. As they are shooting, be doing what you are doing. Even though they kill you, you die there. One of our members, our common man, Alliance. Hashtag enough is enough Alliance. So they, ask, they will come. And they will video it. It must be brought to justice. I know how jail is. I've worked in the jail. I'm still working in the jail. You don't want to go there. Prison is a place you don't want to go. That is true. So I have officers in state jail who I I give up I give up money for a do state a gubernatorial election. My boss called me. He said, Officer E, we are going to send you to Nashville, Tennessee, in maximum security to go work. Where I will get double pay, make up to about maybe 8,000 a month. Then I said, no. How long am I going to stay? He said, three months lock in. You cannot get out of Nashville, Tennessee. I said, no. I'm going to Nigeria. I want to go and help my people. He said, what? I turned it down. And he sent a U.S. Marine. I'm attached to military. I, I don't want to say it. So he sent a U.S. Marine to go there. A co officer is making money every day. This white man called me making money over time. Everything at least before my election, I could have made up to three hundred thousand dollars to finance myself. But one thing I know American people will finance me. I am not looking for if you take money from Nigeria, definitely you're going to pay them back. So, brothers and sisters, I have a bunch of people knocking on my door. So, I love you. Good night, everyone.